If you are watching this video, then you're probably wanting to know about egg donation and what it looks like at Vida. In this quick video, we will take you through the steps from our application right through to egg retrieval. Thank you for taking the time to find out more about egg donation. Let us know if you have any questions in the comments below or email us at info at vida.co.za. Remember that all the information can also be found on our website at www.vida.co.za. Hi, my name is Yossi. I'm one of the doctors here at Vita Lab. And one of my portfolios is that I look after the egg donation program at Vita Lab. We call ourselves Vida, the Vita Lab Egg Donor Agency. Part of my job is to screen new donors. So girls who come forward who volunteer to donate the eggs, they come and see me and I put them through a screening process to make sure that A, it's safe for them to donate. Our first priority is always making sure that egg donation is safe for the donors and the donors are looked after. What does this mean? We make sure that we are not going to overstimulate our donors and we're not going to cause them to have something called ovarian hyperstimulation syndrome. We make sure that the donating process isn't going to be too painful for them, is not going to put them through any trauma. And we also have an opportunity to look at their ovaries to see that they have a very healthy egg number. If a woman comes to see us wanting to donate their eggs and we find that they have reduced egg numbers, we will not use them as a donor. But on the other hand, they will be, have benefited in that we will have picked that up nice and early in their lives and we can talk to them about making sure that we protect their future fertility. You'll do a quick urine drug test to ensure there are no prohibited substances in your system. This is a routine part of our process to ensure you meet the egg donation criteria. You'll then meet with our donor coordinator. They will explain the process in detail so you know exactly what to expect and note your basic medical history. Feel free to ask any questions during this time. After the meeting, we'll take you upstairs, where our experienced donor doctor will perform a free clinical physical examination of your reproductive system using a transvaginal ultrasound. This helps us assess egg quantity. Should you be within a safe range, the donor doctor will explain any possible side effects of the medication used and give more insight on the process. Following the ultrasound, you will have a blood test. This is important to confirm your blood group and check for any STDs such as HIV, hepatitis B and C, and syphilis. So inside, you've got three, inject, three tablets. You're gonna take one tablet every day for three days. Okay, please make sure that you take it at food. Okay, put something first. Okay. And then, also, antifunga. Yes, here we go. It's only a once, of course. Okay. And to put it And it's only one inside the package. Okay. So it's only once. All right. And this one, during this stimulation, you just need to increase. You just got to remember first, you're having someone here. Mm -hmm. During the cycle, so no intercourse at all. Okay. You're going to do that. And then, these are your antibiotics, and you will ensure that you take them with food, right? And then you need to drink lots of water. This is at least because when we stimulate, your ovaries become big. So when they get big, it gives you a little bit of headaches, and you feel a little bit bloated, you feel tired, you feel that so you want to drink. If at all your uh, headaches are persist, even if you're drinking, you can take Panados. Okay, but remember, do not take any anti-inflammatories, okay, when you do that. And then if at all during the stimulation, uh, 
you feel you messed up or you feel something is missing, you didn't understand something, you're welcome to call this always in this own call. This is our emergency line. So you call that and then remember to send the number the, the code and the sister will call you and we'll explain things for you to you. We get clear. Right. So you okay with this one. Right. Coming to the injections. And uh, this other injection, we're going to start with the Pecovirus. Okay, we're gonna be every day doing percovirus. Okay, there's a percovirus. We're gonna do 150 every day. So you're gonna use the same pen every day. Okay, mm -hmm. I'm gonna quickly show you how we're gonna do that. So this is how your percovirus look inside. So there's a pen looking there, and there is uh, that's the pen. It's written percovirus there. Mm -hmm. Okay, and then these are the needles that we're gonna use. Right. So I'm gonna for first open the pen. I'm gonna also open your needle. Okay. The needles you need clean injection needle every day okay so first you open your needle and you take that you see that's fluid there that fluid is the one that we're gonna use air on your tummy okay so you take your needle connect it with that pen then you just run it over just make sure that it's tight here make sure it's tight and you can see there's a zero there mm -hmm. okay we're gonna dial 250 units okay so we are in this we dial it so that i have to look Dial, dial until we get to the 150. You see, that's a 150. Okay. Once we have that, I am going to. So that's a 150 there, which is going to be a daily dose. Okay. So 150 there, that's your daily dose. Okay. Once we're done, I'm going to show you on your tummy how to do this. Throughout your donation cycle, you will visit the clinic on average of four to five times for monitoring scans and to discuss your treatment progress with your nurse coordinator. If you are based outside of Gauteng or KZN, you can have these scans at a clinic near you. We'll ensure you have the necessary medications available and be in constant communication with regards to further instructions. Finally, the day of egg retrieval will arrive. This will be your last visit to the clinic for the cycle. If you're from outside of Gauteng or KZN, we'll arrange transportation for you to come to our Sanson or KZN clinic for this procedure. On the scheduled morning, please arrive early. The egg retrieval procedure itself takes approximately 20 minutes and is performed using intravenous sedation, which means you'll sleep through it without feeling any pain. The retrieval is done using a vaginal ultrasound, leaving no cuts, stitches or visible scarring. After the procedure, you'll be taken to the recovery area for about 45 to 60 minutes. Once you have fully recovered from the sedation, you can be accompanied home by a friend or family member. For 24 hours after the procedure, there are certain restrictions you should not drive a vehicle or be alone in public transport. Any discomfort you feel is typically no more than what you'd experience during a normal period and can be managed with pain relieving medication prescribed to you. You can expect your next period anywhere from five to 14 days after the egg retrieval procedure. Thank you for showing interest in being part of the Vida family if you have any questions or need more information, don't hesitate to reach out to us. We look forward to supporting you through this incredible journey.